<laughs> What's going on, everybody? You know, it's one of those things where when we fast forward or when we look back down the road, will we realize that maybe we were making a mistake with how we were collecting? The thing about grading, right? The thing about the grading companies is it's really, really hard to ignore the number on the slab. I mean, it's really hard. And I try really, I mean, I really try to look just at the card, but then you see that number and you're like, well, maybe I'm missing something. And how are you missing? Are you, are you missing something because under a magnifying glass, there's something visible that there isn't to the naked eye? Is that what you're missing? Or are you missing something bigger? Is it something that is, you know, a dramatic flaw that you're just not seeing for whatever reason? I mean, but it's so hard to ignore that number. And people pay based on the number. I mean, that's one of the things with comping cards is you go, how do you comp cards? Well, what most people do is they look up recent sales of the same card in the same grade from the same grading company. But they're not the same card. They're the same grade that was assigned by probably a different grader on probably a different day. And so we're basing what the value of this card is by looking at a different card, but it's different. It, you know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, two houses on the same street that have the same floor plan. Should they sell for the exact same amount? Or should the condition of one house affect the price? What about the landscaping? What about the interior? What about how the home has been cared for? Now, they're the same home, but they're not the same home, right? So I want to take a closer look. I, I literally, I want to play a game with you. I'm going to show you 10 different, you know, side-by-side -side comparisons of cards. And, and, and I really have two main questions. Question number one is, which one would you rather have of the two? The second question is going to be, which one do you think sold for more? Now, sometimes the one we'd rather have sells for more. Sometimes the one we'd rather have sells for less. So why would that be? Well, maybe it's the grading company that graded the card. Maybe it's the number on the card. Maybe there's something that we prefer, like maybe like I used to be all about sharp corners. And now sharp corners aren't nearly as important to me. Maybe some people can't handle a, a little wrinkle and some people don't mind it at all. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through 10 side-by-side -side comparisons and I'm going to ask you that question. Which one would you rather have? And what do you think sold for more? Which one do you think sold for more? And we're going to look at it and we're going to analyze it. We're going to look at the prices that they sold for. We're going to look at the grades. I think the grades... <laughs> Grades are definitely influencing us. And sometimes I think they're influencing us maybe when they shouldn't. You know, a technical grade, a technical grade, you know, maybe there's a little indentation that nobody else would ever notice. Maybe there's a little tiny, you know, wax mark. Maybe there's a little bit of a print mark. And some people that would bother and some people it wouldn't. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to look at those comparisons. And then I have some questions at the end for you that I genuinely, truly, genuinely want to hear your opinion on. Because I think there's a very real possibility. You know, we always talk about, oh, if you could go back 10 years, what, do you, what would you have done differently? I think there's a very real possibility that 10 years from now, if somebody said, if you could go back 10 years... What would you have done differently with your collecting? I really think that there's a very good chance that a lot of people would say, I wouldn't have been buying the grade, the technical number. I would have bought the card that I like the looks of the best. It's an interesting one. But first, my buddy Ben just put Oklahoma on the highlighted map and he sent me some cool stuff. Sent me this cool Clemens card. 
sent me this. You go, well, why, Greg, would you want a Keith Hernandez sticker? Well, because on the back, it's got not just Roger, not just the goat, but it also has Will Clark, one of my childhood favorites. And then this, look at this, Statler and Waldorf. I mean, you know I'm a Muppet guy. Those are two of the best. I actually sent that card to Mr. Mangini uh, for his birthday. Uh, we got this cool Goonies card. I mean, now we're talking, this is like my childhood. There were so many, and I'm just showing you some highlights. He sent me a care package of all sorts of goodness. And I'm showing you a few. How about this Tim Burton card? That is cool. Tim Burton. Guy is an absolute genius. Got this cool Nettles card. And then as a kid, maybe the funniest comedian as a kid, that guy, Richard Pryor. Come on. Remember the movie The Toy? Oh my goodness. This guy is hilarious. So, Ben, thank you for the care pack. Let's take a look at these side-by-side -side comparisons. I think that it's possible that we genuinely are buying the grade and not the card. Let's find out. All right, so here we are. And I really am starting to wonder, is the grade of a card going to continue to be pretty much a direct correlation to the value of the card? Because if the value of the card is truly dictated by just the grade, that is interesting. It really would mean that we were buying the grade, not the card. So I want to take a look at a few cards here. So first off, again, this all kind of started when my buddy Adam at Vintage Sanctuary bought this card. In fact, he actually texted me a picture of this card. He was excited about the pickup before he went ahead and uh, had it on one of his videos. And then on a recent video, he showed the card and was, I mean, it's a stunning card. It's a 4.5 and it is a stunning 4.5 of, you know, a really important legendary player. Now, again, if you're not subscribed to Adam Vintage Sanctuary, then I really recommend that you subscribe to his channel. So if we look at these two cards, so I'm looking at them right here in front of me on the screen. I mean, which one of those would you rather have? The left or the right? Now, his is the one on the right. I mean, it's super crystal, crystal clear. It's, the corners are so sharp. The centering is fantastic. And as you mentioned in the video, it, it has a little tiny wrinkle on the left of the card. But I don't see it. In, in all of the video that he showed, I couldn't tell. Now, if I pull out my microscope, I can see it. If I pull out my jeweler's loop, I can see it. And that is a stunning card. But when you look at these, look at the grade difference. Look at the sale price difference. Now, are we collecting cards that we want to be looking at under a magnifying glass? Or, or are we wanting to collect cards that we like the looks of? Like, when, when we are looking at a card, we're not looking at it like we're trying to detect some... I mean, when we buy it, we're trying to detect, detect something, see if there's something there. We're looking at it so closely but then at some point we just enjoy it right so the one on the right the one that adam bought to 4.5 he bought it for 145 dollars plus probably some tax and some shipping the one on the left now the one on the left it's a beautiful card I'm, I'm not disparaging the card it's a beautiful card i'd love to have it 396 dollars plus shipping plus tax I mean, it is, it's not quite three times as much, but it's not far from three times as much. Could it be three times as valuable? I don't know. I mean, when you're looking at your collection, how are you looking at it? 
If you look at your, if you look at your collection, you know, like when you go to the dentist and they've got like those weird glasses and they can like see like your brain <laughs> through the glasses because they've got these like things on them. Like, is that how you look at your collection? That's not how I look at my collection. So we're going to look at 10 different carts from 10 different years, 10 different sets. One question. I want you to quiz yourself. How do you do on this? Which card do you think sold for more? It will be the card on the left or the card on the right. Let's take a look. We got two. 1950 Bowman Ted Williams card. Love this card. Beautiful card. I have the 51. It's the same image. The 50 is a wonderful card. We look at this. Which one would you rather have? Now, again, the image isn't fantastic. The right image is a little bit blurry. I'm assuming it's the picture and not the card. But which of those would you rather have? And which of those... Do you think sold for more? See, I would rather have the one on the left. Do I think the one on the left sold for more? Well, let's look. So the one on the left is an old label SGC4. The one on the right is an older label PSA7. The one on the left sold for $1,010. The one on the right sold for more than double now again when we look at these cards here i mean i'm sure that the one on the left probably has a little wrinkle or something right that's the reason you're saying greg greg you don't have <laughs> you don't have a picture of the backs can't really see the surface i understand i trust me i get all that but 95% of the time we look at our cards, we look at our cards at the front, not the back. So that's my focus. And 99% of the time, we're not looking at our cards through a magnifying glass. So if there's a little wrinkle, who cares? Well, at least maybe I'm just speaking for me. All right. So how'd you do there? Are you one for one? Which one did you think would sell for more? Here. We got two really, both are really pretty decent cards. I'd love to have either one of these cards. The 51 Bowman Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford rookie card. Awesome card of one of the best left-handed pitchers ever. So would you rather have the one on the left or the one on the right? Again, I think there's, you know, there's kind of pros and cons to each. The color on the right is a little bit better but is it that is that because of the color of the card or is that because of the picture and how it was taken which one would you rather have which one do you think sold for more all right here we go the one on the right sold for $1260 it's a 5 the one on the left sold for $727 a little bit more than half. Now, first of all, for the price to double, not quite double, go up by 80% or so. To go from a four to a five is interesting. Now, some of you are going to go, Greg, Greg, wait. That's an older generation slab. It is an older generation slab. How do we know that? Well, there's a few ways we know that. Number one, if we look at the barcode right here, it does not line up with the left edge. That's a clue. Um, another thing that we have is it doesn't have the lighthouse logo here in the center. Another thing is that the number and the actual name of the grade are on the same line instead of different lines. So the one on the left, uh, it's hard to tell for sure, uh, but it looks, it's at least a newer holder. Now, again, serial numbers are not always sequential, so that's not always going to tell us that a card is newer or older but all right so that's where we're at so how are you doing so far out of two we're doing 10 how about the next one 52 tops duke snyder pretty cool card now the one on the right is definitely more off center and it has 
has a tilt to it for sure. It's a diamond cut for sure. The color seems a little brighter. The one on the left, the picture to me looks a little clearer. And it's certainly more centered. Other than that, it looked pretty similar. Is there maybe a little, is that a little fish eye right here, here maybe? Nothing significant on the bottom little black border right here of the one on the right, there's something. Now, personally, I would rather have the card on the left. So let's see how it went. The one on the left is a BVG 3.5. The one on the right is a PSA 5. The one on the left sold for $230. The one on the right sold for $300. They say, oh, it's just an extra 70 bucks, Greg. True. True, but 70 bucks on, you know, a $230 card is about an extra 30%. Is the card on the right 30% better than the one on the left? And you say, well, Greg, you can't tell because the picture is cut off on the top on the one on the left. I didn't take the picture, <laughs> but you're right. All right, next up, we got... Very cool, iconic card. The Satchel Page, 53 top Satchel Page. Such a great card. Which of those two would you rather have? Um, now, both of them, I think, are sweet. And in every case here, I, I like all of the cards. I would be totally thrilled to add any of these cards in my collection. So I'm certainly not bashing cards. I'm just doing a side-by-side -side comparison, just a quick look. So now my guess, my guess is most people would rather have the one on the left. Centering's better. The edging along the name uh, block is not bad on the one on the left. It's probably a little worse than the one on the right. There's a little bit of a bottom left corner issue on the one on the left. But it's got super good color and detail. Let's see how they did. So the one on the left got an SGC4. The one on the right got a PSA6. Now, look at the sale price. Now, they were both buy it now, so I looked them up. And what they actually ended up selling for, the SGC4 sold for $1,400. The one on the right sold for more than double. Does the card on the right look like it's more than double the value of the one on the left? Again, I'd love to have either. I'd absolutely love to have either. But does the one on the right look to you like it's $1,550 better? I wouldn't say so. At least not for me. I would rather have the card on the left. And... I'd get to keep an extra $1,550. That seems like a win-win. All right, let's keep moving. How about these two? Now, some of you are going to start cheating. You're going to start seeing some common themes, but I've got something up my sleeve to prevent that toward the end. So which of these would you rather have? Now, without a doubt, I think the color and clarity on the one on the right is significantly better. Corners are definitely better on the right. There's a little fisheye or something right here by the bat. Hard to see, but it's there. I, I actually like the rough cut on the right border of the one on the right and the left border of the one on the right. Makes me feel like it's unaltered and fresh. But the centering is clearly better on the left. So which one would you rather have? Now, if you're an image clarity and color guy, I would think you'd rather have the one on the right. If you're a centering guy, you'd probably say the one on the left. Now, there is a tilt to the cut on the one on the right as well. You can see it's much thinner up to the top here than it is on the bottom down here. It looks like there's a little bit of a print line right across there. Both are sweet cards. So the one on the left is an SGC5. The one on the right is a PSA7. 
and it sold for two thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars more. Is the one on the right two thousand dollars better than the one on the left? Now I'm not telling you that that you should collect the way I collect. My question is if they neither was graded, if both were in a showcase, right? That's what I'm trying to demonstrate here. They're they're both in a showcase, they're both ungraded, they're both in front of you, and they are the same price. Which one would you want to pick up? You know you're gonna buy one. And he goes, yeah, either one, same price. What would you take? I would take the one on the left. Doesn't mean that's the right answer, but that's what I would do. If you'd take the one on the right, would you take the one on the right and give him an extra $2,275? Now, again, I'd love to have either. There's no doubt about it that the one on the right has much sharper corners, much clearer image, much better color. Look at the color in his face on the one on the right versus the left. It's a, They're both beautiful cards. I just don't know if it's worth $2,275 more. All right, next we've got two Sandy Koufax cards. Now, both of these are beautiful cards. Both of them have pretty good centering. Both of them have pretty good clarity. Hard to tell what the color situation is on these. Images aren't, uh, you know, it's like, is the picture off? There's a little mark on his cheek right there on that one. And there's a little bit of yellowing on the border. But it's well-centered. The one on the left has a print print line right here, right? And it has a little tiny mark right there. It's better centered, definitely better centered on the left. Corners, in my opinion, are better on the left. So which one would you rather have? Now, again, it's not like, you know, there's one right answer. A lot of us out there would say the one on the right, and a lot of us out there would say the one on the left. Well, the one on the left got a PSA 6. It's a newer label. Again, how do I know it's a newer label? Same as before. Number one, uh, it's got the Lighthouse logo. Number two, it's got the number on the lower line below the grade name. The barcode lines up with the left edge of the name. The one on the right, the grade number and grade name are on the same line. The barcode does not line up with the edge of the name. Doesn't have the Lighthouse logo. There's more you can tell on the back of the flip to get more information. But this is probably like a Generation 3 holder on the right. The one on the left is going to be like a Generation 9 or so. Now, the serial number has got a 5 on it. Again, they're not sequential, so it doesn't always tell us the whole story. So, I don't know. I mean, I'd rather have the one on the left. But the one on the right sold for 2000 doing quick mental math, $2,550 more. Would you rather have the one on the right or the one on the left and $2,550? Are we buying the grade? If those two were in a case right next to each other, same price, which one would you pick? Well, if you'd pick the one on the right, would you throw in an extra $2,550 to even the deal? I think a lot of people are buying the grade. Now, again, they're both beautiful cards. I'd love to have both of them. A hundred, I mean, I'd love to have both of them. I just think I'd rather have the one on the left more. All right, we're up to 1956. Tops, Jackie Robinson. 
Which of these would you rather have? Again, both really, really nice cards. Looks to me like the corners are sharper on the right. Color might be a little bit better on the left. I would say centering is better on the left. So is there, yeah, there might be a slight tilt. It's a little bit fatter at the top here than at the bottom. Once again, I'd love to have either card. I didn't pick any dogs in here. I picked all really nice cards. And some of you are going, Greg, come on. It's so obvious that the left one is the one that we would pick. And then you're going to tell us, oh, the left one sold for less. Well, when cards are side by side and you're comparing them closely like this, isn't that how we're supposed to be kind of looking cards over when we're making a purchase? So the one on the right is a PSA 7, sold for $1,900. One on the left is an SGC 6, sold for $1,250. Now, if you're not about SGC, you're just like, you know, I'm not interested in having an SGC card for whatever reason. You don't like SGC. You just are all in on PSA. It doesn't, I mean, whatever. Everybody's allowed to have their preference. Then the one on the left wouldn't even come up in your eBay search, right? These cards were sold 17 days apart. And the one on the right sold for a lot more. But, but I'm guessing the majority of people in watching this if you're st if you're still watching uh would say that you'd rather have the one on the left well again i'd love to have either but is the one on the left worth six hundred and fifty dollars less i don't know I guess it's in the eye of the beholder, right? All right, we're at 1957. We got the Mickey Mantle. We got the ghost of Babe Ruth here, airbrushed in the background, right? Super cool. I wonder who that guy is. I bet this guy back here, the security guy probably, right? He's sitting there going, I'm on a Mickey Mantle card. That'd be pretty cool. Now, I think this is a tougher one. Which of these cards is the better card? Okay, which of these cards would you rather have? I really think you could make a strong argument for either. I think this is a tough one. I think the right might be a little sharper. Corners. Uh, it's definitely a little brighter. I always have a hard time with the brightness, though, because you don't know, is this... Is it bright because of the picture or because of the card? That's one of the problems with buying online. I like how the top to bottom or the bottom cut right there is a little bit ragged. I like that. The top to bottom centering is better on the left. So centering is probably a little better on the left one. So which would you rather have, left or right? Well, they sold for a very similar price. Now, this is really interesting to me. So the one on the left is a PSA 4. Now, this is a very new grade. Okay, PSA has been better about their sequential uh, serial numbers recently. And the cards that are being graded right now are all coming back with 8s as the first number in the serial number. So it's a brand new holder, and it's got an eight serial number. So this card was just graded on the left. Now, part of that is, well, are they grading cards harder? Is that what's happening? And is that better than a four? I mean, it seems better a four than a four to me. But I don't know. I don't have my jeweler's loop to know for sure. If we look here, though, so the PSA 4... Sold for more than the SGC6. Not a lot more. $35 more. Although the one on the right did have free shipping. So that saved you $5.95. So you go, hmm. 
Let's look at them one more time. I mean, I mean, I lean a little bit toward the one on the right. I think the one on the right's a little bit better, but the top to bottom centering on the left one is pretty nice. All right. Well, that one's interesting that an SGC six, that's a nice looking card. Sold for about the same as a PSA four. Interesting. All right, let's go to 1958. How about the Roberto Clemente? This is a brutally tough card. Really, really hard to find centered. I wanted to find two centered ones, and I eventually did. So when we look at these two side by side, which one would you prefer? Now, again, it's really hard to know. Is the color on the left better because of the picture or because of the card? I think it might be because of the card. It's hard to know. They're both beautiful cards. Which one would you rather have? This is a tough one, too. I don't know. These are kind of like the last, the Mickey Mantles, the 57s. Very similar all the way around. One's a little bit brighter and a little bit whiter. The other one's probably a little bit better centering. I don't know. If I had to pick one of these two, I'd probably go the one on the right. Doesn't mean it's the right answer, obviously. <laughs> so how did it go? Now this is interesting. So the one on the left, the one on the left sold for $1,331. The one on the right sold for $531. So well over double. Or the one on the left over the one on the right. So now it's like, well, is it because it's a higher grade? Is it because it's a PSA instead of an SGC? What's happening? I mean, does the card on the left look like it should sell for two and a half times the amount of the card on the right? I don't think it should. I think they're very similar cards. But again, the one on the right was $531. The one on the left was two and a half times that amount. It's crazy to me. Both were auctions. We sold a couple of months apart. So is it that the market has gone up in the last two months for Roberto Clemente? I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. All right, our last one. The 1959 Tops Hank Aaron. Two beautiful cards. Look at how sharp these two cards are. Both have great color. Both have great centering. Both have great corners. I don't know. There's a little. That's interesting. There's a little. I've never noticed that on this card. There's a little print line right here and like the same one right there. Those of you that are 59 collectors go, yeah, yeah, that's that's a common print mark. I didn't know that. I don't know. These are very similar cards. Very, very similar to me. I'm trying to think. I'm I mean the one on the right might be slightly clearer. What do you guys think? Color similar. I'd probably slightly prefer the one on the I don't know. I mean, if they're in a case, which one would I grab? I'd probably grab the one on the right. Why? I don't really know. But they're very similar. How'd the prices go? So we have a PSA 8 on the left. Sold for $1,723. And the one on the right is an SGC 7.5, which sold for $1,565. So in this case, it kind of feels like the grade... And the quality of the card is kind of how they sold versus there has been in some of these an example of a premium for the PSA holder. I don't know. So how'd you guys do on this? Are we still buying the grade? Are we still looking at the grade and going, I want that one because of the number? at the top right hand corner. Are we really allowing that to control us? 
Should we buy I appeal at this point, or should we buy grade? Will the grade always make it be worth more? Is there going to come a point where the PSA 4 with really good eye appeal is going to be more valuable and sell for more than the off-center PSA 6? Are we are we approaching that time? And if so, should we be paying attention to the grade? Should we even be paying attention to it? So here's my third question. And and I really hope that everybody takes a second to leave their thoughts on how this went in the comments below, because I genuinely am interested. In the future, will the grade or the eye appeal matter most? Right now, I mean, we just did like a science experiment and the card with the higher number, the higher grade, is consistently selling for more. Not every case, but the overwhelming majority of the time. Is it going to stay like that? Or are we going to find a time in the near future where the eye appeal is going to surpass the number assigned by the grader? Let me know your thoughts on this. Truly, I'm very interested on this one, and I hope that you enjoyed going through that with me.